Well, okay. So, so I'm curious about this. So I worked in a Catholic high school for over a decade and toward probably the last five years I was there, there was a big demographic change in my high school and it was always a pretty diverse high school, but it, it became probably from 60% white to probably 70% African American. And it's something that, and that was, I, I learned so much in that time, <laughs> so much I learned, I learned, and I'm, I'm grateful for that experience. Um, one of the things there was, there was one day there was just two guys in the hallway and I knew them both, both good kids. And, <clears throat> but they're like referring to each other by using the N word. And I'm like, okay, here, I, here I am white teacher. And like, you know, me growing up as a white guy, like that's a word you never say. Like that is worse than the F word calling someone a mofo. Like that is like, like that's what I learned growing up is like, that's like the worst thing you can say. And then here I have students and I'm in a supervisory role where I'm supposed to correct them. But then it's like, this is like, am I the one to make this, to have this intervention here? So I'm wondering, like, can you, what, what, what do you do in that situation? What's your, what, I'd love to hear just your perspective on this. Not, not that, not that you have to speak for all African-Americans out here, but just, I'm, yeah. I'm curious your perspective. Yeah, no, totally. Um, so this actually came up not maybe about a week ago or so with a student at our school and, um, it was he himself, the African American student, the priest, and then they both came to me for an answer. <laughs> and it, it was so much more uh, uh -huh. complicated, you know, than than that. And um, but yeah, no, the, the N word is is rough. It's rough, right? Because I mean, there's two ways to look at it. Is it used as a term of endearment? Absolutely, it can be. Mm -hmm. But shoot, you can listen to any hip hop music dating back for a long time and. And it also is used to refer to someone you you about to do something bad to, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like it, it, at some point, there's no, I mean, there's different contexts that it can be used. But what what I basically challenge people on, and this is for anything, any word or or anything that may be a little questionable, is that if you can't say it at work, if you can't say it everywhere in front of you know, maybe some people can't say it in front of their family, but if you can't say it at work without getting yourself fired or something crazy, it's probably something you you know you want to eliminate from your vocabulary. So. Um, and it also depends. I mean, maybe you grew up in a neighborhood where everyone uses it and that le legit becomes part of the vocabulary, but then you may have been raised somewhere else. So what happens when those two people, one who used it and one who did not use it meet somewhere like at the workplace or somewhere else. Yeah. And one refers to another person as the N word. Yeah. You feel like you're, you know, uh, a term of endearment or that you're being accepted, but at the same time, you're not going to necessarily return that, that word to that person. So yeah. So the N word is 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 very interesting. Still, 2022, and it's still one of those things. But for me, easy rule of thumb is that if I wouldn't say it like um, at a workplace or or anywhere, it really has no room in like in my vocabulary. But I I totally get it though, because if someone were to come to me and they say Big John, my N, this, that, or the other, I completely understand where mm -hmm. they're coming from with it. Yeah. Right. Uh, so <laughs> no, that's how. Like yeah, that's it's a bit more. So yeah. when I, so something that makes me think of is oftentimes with, with young people, I'll have a discussion about, um, I would have a discussion about like profanity and the use of profanity. And, uh, one of the things that, uh, with some, some kid that always thinks he's smart always says, Mr. Teddy, what's the problem? They're just words. And, <laughs> and what I would, what I would do, which is maybe, 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 you know, a little controversial, but I would say, okay, they're just words. I would go around and I would write an N on the board and then I'd turn around and look at the class. <laughs> and then I turn around and write an I on the board and I turn around and look at the class and they're already freaking out. And then I would write some other word like Nike or something like that. It was like, I wrote two letters that weren't even a word and you guys all started freaking out. Cause you know, like words have power, you know, just cause you thought yeah. that I might write it on the board. You guys were flipping out. Like that's the power of words. Words have meaning and mean, mean like words can cut to the heart, you know? Yeah. Um, so, and uh, there's a, there's a scripture, Ephesians 4 29, that says something along these lines. It says like, um, let nothing impure come out of your mouths, but only that which is good for the edification or the building up of, of your brothers and sisters. And so that's what I would always share is like my rule of thumb, very, very similar to, to your, your very practical advice. If I wouldn't say it at work is, is the words we use should always be building people up, not tearing t people down. And like, so, so I kind of hear what you say, like if somebody comes up to you and, and, and says that word with endearment, like that's building you up and everybody understands that. Right. Exactly. And so exactly. Yeah. now, now where one of my students <laughs> who was who's really, really smart, this is one of my honors seniors. He was like, but Mr. Tenney, what if I went to my mom and I was like, mom, I effing love you. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I was like, well, I want, and I knew his mom because of like met at conferences. I was like, what, what, how would your mom feel about that? He's like, okay, good point. But, but I think he's on to something is yeah. like, like my wife and I, like, I, I don't, I don't curse. Like the only place I curse is like my wife and I, when we're like joking around and being silly. Like if I'm like complaining about something, she'll be like, well, maybe if you weren't such a little bee, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it's like, like, it totally breaks me out of it. Like, I know it's totally, um, <laughs> I know it's totally meant in love and like, we just laugh about it. And it's kind of our, our code for like, you're taking yourself too seriously. And it's like, it's all right. I'm here. I'm here with you. Like we can laugh about this. It's going to be fun. And I, and I, I do the same thing to her but it's weird it's like the only person i cuss at is my wife but it's like never in anger it's never in frustration it's always just it, it, and it it builds us up you know it's a sort of intimacy so anyway so that's that's kind of for my own examination of conscience is like, yeah, that no, ephesians yeah. 429 for should i say this shouldn't i say this and you're right it depends on the context depends yeah, on the relationship so yeah there's another one uh the the Mat matthew 15 it said not which that goes into the mouth that defiles a man but which comes out of it his mouth that defi defiles him. And I think that was the day I realized that foul language for me, I was done with it um, mm -hmm. because we have to render an account for every word that comes out of our mouth. But, yes. uh, but like I said, some people may have a more limited vocabulary to express certain things or emotions and you have to be patient with those people. So, mm -hmm. um, so yeah. Yeah. Well, in words, words have multiple meanings, right? Like, yeah, yeah. like Michael Jackson is bad means two different things, <laughs> right? And yeah, so yeah. like Michael Jackson is bad. I mean, I don't like his music or Michael Jackson is bad. Like bad. he's bad. All right. So it's, it's, Ooh, it's, yeah. it's cool. You know? And so when my wife, when I'm freaking out, she says, well, maybe you shouldn't be such a little B like, she's not real. Like, that's not the meaning. <laughs> it's not the mean meaning. She means she's, she's expressing in other words, like, I love you. And you're going to be fine. And this is really not as big a deal as you're making exactly. it out to be. And like, we're going to get through this together. So exactly. um, and the N word just has way too many. Like, it's possible. so, it's so, <laughs> there's su there's it's such, not worth it. There's it's so, a slippery yeah, slope. it really is. Yeah. There's such a, there's so much pain and history wrapped up in it. And there you yeah. go. The pain mm -hmm. in history alone, it's enough for me mm -hmm. personally not to use it. And, and, and it should be for most people, but mm -hmm. like I said, we <laughs> won't, won't tell the next man what to do, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. I take my time, flex like whoa. I take my time, just let's go. I take my time, flex like whoa, tell them by though. I take my time, flex like whoa. I take my time, just let's go. I take my time, flex like whoa, tell them by those like this though.